Welcome back to WTV News. The 17th ranked Warburg volleyball team hosted conference rival Loris in its annual blackout game Wednesday. Loris was in search of its 13th straight win. Warburg jumped out to an early lead in front of a packed house as Bailey Wilson gets the kill off the net. And the first set would be all nights as Kelly Neiman gets the first of her match high 13 kills off the blockers. The Knights take the first set 25-13. The second set would be much more of a battle as Loris jumps out to the early lead with the easy kill up the middle. But Neiman would respond with a soft tip that just nicks the blocker and Warburg cuts the deficit to one point. The Dewhawks were much better in the second set and had the slicing kill puts them up 10 to seven in set number two and forces coach Walker to take a timeout. Not sure what they talked about in that TO, but it didn't work as Loris again scores in the kill and Carly Brown is helpless to control the dig. The two teams battle late in the second set and Kelly Neiman comes with a huge block for the Knights facing set point that evens the score at 25 all. Then the assuming point, Maddie Forsythe taps it over the net and Warburg would go on to win a thriller of a second set, 27-25. The final set was same song, different verses. Bailey Wilson pounds the ball to the hardwood and Warburg would go on to take the match with a three set sweep. That win gives Warburg a new school record of 13 wins in a row. The Knights will look on to make it 14 in a row this Wednesday in Illinois against Simpson. That match is to begin a set at 7.30 p.m. The 23rd ranked women's soccer team played at home Saturday to take on Dubuque in their Iowa Conference opener. The Knights dominated early in 15 minutes. Rachel Torrey loops one over the keeper for an early one goal lead. Later, Kathy Ryder works around her defender and crosses the ball in the box with the Spartan goalie mishandles and the ball trickles in the line for a goal. Just before halftime, Brittany Frush works her way into the box and places the ball perfectly into the corner. Knights lead 3-0 at the break. In the second half, Dubuque tried to make a game out of it as Alexandra Watkins scores on the rebound to cut the lead to two. But Ryder's second goal of the game on this beautiful volley seals the deal. Kaylee Benning added a goal to make the final score 5-1. Monica Noti became the all-time career wins leader with 35. Noti recorded three saves for the win. It's, it's very nice. Um, you know, we wanted to come out today and play our soccer, and that's what we did. We have a lot of improvement still to do, but what, today was a good start to get in there. The Knights are now 1-0 in conference and 6-1-2 and overall. Now, on the, oh, next up for the Knights will be Sunday at 2 p.m. as they host play UW-Whitewater, a rematch of last year's NCAA tournament second round game. Now on the flip side, the men continued their forum game homestand against the Red Men of Carthage College. The Knights led early as Warburg freshman Zuma Nazari beats the Carthage defenders here and sticks it in the corner of the net, giving the Knights a 1-0 lead in the early goings. Carthage would rally with a few shots of their own, the first shot going wide left while the second attempt is blocked by Warburg goalie Zach Kohlmeyer. The Redmen would tie the game at one apiece, however, with this goal by Aaron Kaglian. Later in the first half, Carthage midfielder Billy Hamilton scores off a deflection, putting the Redmen up for good. The route was on for Carthage in the second half, scoring six straight goals against Warburg. Carthage senior Jordan Ennis had a memorable day completing the hat trick with this penalty shot 61 minutes into the match. Warburg scored once more, this time from junior Jared Nelson off this rebound and corner kick. Efforts aside, the Knights were not able to make a comeback and lost this one 8-2. Men's soccer is 2-5-1 overall and are off from competition until next Sunday when they host UW-Whitewater at home. The men's tennis team competed at the Iowa Conference Individual Tournament last weekend. In singles play, the Knights struggled to find their success. Dayton Stevens, Josh Trubler, and P.J. Wessels all ended up winning the first round, only to lose later in the second round. The only title winner for the Knights was Coy Wigman. Doubles play would have looked much better for the Orange and Black. Kumakea and Grant won the opening round but fell in the second round, and it was the same story for Wigman and P.J. Wessels. The Knights, this weekend the Knights will compete in the ITA Regional in St. Peter, Minnesota.